fresh fried chips here. You made those? What's your own seasoning? These are sweetie. Uh, you kind made of chips. these? Uh, we fried them up. We made our own seasoning and stuff like that. My wife is what? What's the sauce right here? That's crazy. Yeah, my boy, Gio's cooking up. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. The the uh the Filipino food. Yeah. yeah. We had them at Bottle Rock. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, them was yanking. Hey. <laughs> backyard gonna be right. They they gonna come for but you can do like half sandwiches in the backyard and different like but those things with there is like you might want to pre do like certain oh, yeah. kinds so people could just do uh, wet sliders too. Like top like chain sliders? Yeah. Let me make a chop cheese slider? A West slider. Can you cut that whole in half too? I do four uh four rolls in one. Yeah. So it's like a bigger part. Mm. Shareable like an event. Cut that one in half. So this may have to yeah. This is my first ever chopped cheese on the West Coast. Gotta go to NY no more to get them. <laughs> oh, what's the goal? Like, you want to do this full time, or you just uh, like, you know, if I could, I would. <laughs> I mean, it's just, been, you know, it's kind of hard with benefits for the girls. Yeah. You know, they need to see the doctor and all that. Actually, the hospital gives very good benefits. So, mm -hmm. my wife, uh, people stay at home right now. Right. You chop. I'm about to that man over. So, so the can. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I already can tell how it's gonna taste. Oh, you know what might go hard on this too? Let me let me before I even say it. I'm not really like a vegetarian either though, but this is like... <laughs> There's no meat in that one? There's no meat. Yeah. And it's still buzzing? Yeah. Oh, he know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah. I was thinking that or... Oh. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, it's kind of hot. It's all sauce. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a bit, way better than the uh, sweet, uh, the other sweet peppers that I had. It was a little too tight, right? I like jalapeno and kudo, but... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know food good when it makes you a real one. <laughs> yes. And there's mushrooms, so it ain't gonna hurt me after. Not really. This might. <laughs> I, just I can't. I, I, I don't even remember the last time I made a, like a whole chopped cheese to myself. Cheese. Yeah. <laughs> I could not Man. imagine. Yeah. Bruh. That's okay, over there is, um, that's why I had it like that. Yeah, yeah that's fire. And it's not going to hurt. That's why I never eat a chopped cheese. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. i seen what it do to them. This fire. Y'all on TikTok? No. Y'all was Everybody boo. keeps telling us. No, for not, real. So just take just take like whatever you're putting on Instagram and put it on TikTok. Yeah. You don't gotta do nothing special. Yeah. Just repost it. You'll boom. This Yo. taco truck right. that came to our backyard, they're out in Fresno. Yeah. They're booming off of TikTok. Like y'all come to the crazy. backyard. I'm gonna have Yacy on sure. do like a photo a pack for y'all because y'all get like, like some fire photos right? too. That makes sense. Yeah. And it really increased like their customers. Yeah. Like every time they post that sure. they're somewhere, mm -hmm. it's a long line. 
it. My brother keeps telling me. He'll be with me at the fest too, so I can have him go to y'all tent and just just okay. get some fire shock, and then you could just schedule them because like. This is good. Just when I opened it, that image online mm -hmm. is going to do its thing. It goes thing. every time. It goes every time. I be watching those and I don't even be eating them. But I just like watching. The, you know? <laughs> be with your eyes. I got like 300 saved food posts of things I've never cooked. Oh, man. I, gotta, I literally have a category called food. Yep. Same. 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 I save it all to that shit. Yep. That's what I've been sending you now. <laughs> yep, we should make this. Never makes it. <laughs> the, bro, the garlic, the garlic butter thing, chicken. Ooh, nigga, I added that straight to my food archive. Yeah, that's coming next. They busting. I'm gonna be on the panel sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all said what? What happened? <laughs> <laughs> what black? <that? laughs> He put some <laughs> Richie Rich wants you to shoot a uh, contact on. Oh, I'm hella down. I'm gonna set, I'm gonna give him your number. Right here, already got it. Uh, text him. <laughs> <clears throat> I want to put together that show with Richie Rich. I think I should just bring him to the veto. Like I was gonna use new pairs, but we should just do it at the crib. Some intimate strip down and let him go and talk. Or the house. Yeah. Or the, or the estate, yeah. yeah. We could actually brand the estate as like We that. should do that. Yeah. One night only with Richie Rich. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like a, an evening show. Yeah. Let's do it. When's his album drop it? Or did it drop? Nah, it hasn't dropped yet. I want him to go through the classics, though. It's going to be crazy. Like, my pops and them going to yeah. be... Because they OGs don't have their shows that they get to go to and enjoy. And gratitude. I appreciate y'all. Man, thank you for coming out. Of this course. <laughs> I'm excited for this collab. This is, this is, yeah. Three, two, I'm going to take a few. Gotcha. Boom. Thank, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for coming. Have a great day. Thank you so much. <laughs> bro, bro, bro. You know, bro. I got it. Bro, I got it. I started to win. Instead of like niggas sending me songs, because I don't like all the songs, I'd be like, just send me a video. I'll knock that shit off. And I'll give it back to you. You can do whatever you want. I'll be ready to come around me. Yeah. And then, that need a challenge you because sometimes they might send you a video. That's not your style. Yeah. Like, I like it. Come on. Yeah. I'll, I'll do this style on. Yep. He actually did a feature that you had already yep. done a feature for. Yep, somebody said this is you. You was on. He came up. So we just knocked out. Hey, how you doing? Fuck, I'm knocked out. Man, it's like only five minutes to ten. It's too easy. <laughs> You know details. We didn't even What's up, dog? Good to see you. Yeah, how you doing? So this is this is who funded yeah. the whole program for us on, and everything. Nice, nice to finally meet you, man. He runs both. So he runs Golden State Entertainment, and he's the head chief lawyer oh. for the world. Appreciate you, man. Good to meet you, brother. Top lawyer, yeah. 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 Top lawyer in the NBA. Top lawyer in the NBA. Yeah. Top lawyer in the NBA. Yeah. 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 So he, so he put the whole little project together for us. The dude, the details, the dude. Chicago started off a rap. What's up, dog? How you feeling? Oh. What's happening? What's happening? So yeah, it was like that was my way. Like, man, I'm with him. Yeah, and it simplified the hours. It's like, bro. And you know, like we getting splits on all those songs too, and publishing. It's like, bro, you get three times your payment. I'm a fucking go. Bro, I didn't have niggas in this shit. I had to keep. My man, what you want to do? Come on. Come on. Let's get it going. Let's shoot the video. All the whole shit. Right. We got to do that. We got to do that. Another route with these two. Yeah. Yeah. They fucking with that. I love it. That shit. And it's like niggas get the other thing. Like niggas just ain't never witnessed a nigga really make it from home. And it's just a new venture. You can literally 
to say that. I made it from home. Uh, from my own back door. <laughs> no put on. It's no matter what you mean. None. Some niggas, this game is like playing 21. Everybody get on the court. And you might not win the game, but you played so good, when they say it's time to pick five, a nigga gonna say, come on, run it. Crazy when we decided to flip the backyard. It looked nothing like it looked today. It was just that in my head. And I drew it out on a piece of paper, and I gave it to the homie and was like, I need you to build this. And, um... It essentially became that. And it's funny, while I'm here right now, they're actually doing like renovations at the crib for version two, because we're building the stage now in the center of the yard. We had the pergola in the front, so now we're going to the center because we had another vision, and it was like, now I need to accommodate for where it's headed. He said I had another vision. So there's versions of your vision. Of course. So, man, tell us about this. So you went from the pergola to the next section. What does that next section look like if you don't mind sharing? Yeah, and so, why? So at first, initially, like we built the pergola and the stage is on one side, traditional, like a venue, a stage is all the way in the front, and then the rest is audience. But as I start growing, like during my shows, I start always going into the crowd. And they're like, man, you gotta stay on stage when people can't see you. And I'm like, but the energy in the center is grander than the energy all the way in the front because when you're all the way in the front people in the back can't feel you the same so i realized when i'm in the center it's like a heart now everybody around it so now when i do shows i'm always going to the center so i was like we need to build all of our venues to where i'm able to be the heart and now i get to beat and every single direction gets to feel me and it changes the energy and the vibe of the show So my last question for you, LaRosa, as I actually, I hit, I hit play. You said you wanted to be the heart of the crowd, right? But being the heart of the crowd in your backyard versus the Greek theater, right? It's a little different. How do you maintain making that crowd visually feel your heart? Because that's thousands. Man. You know, I just came off the road with T-Pain, and he's doing, like, we go into these places, and there's 5,000 people, and there's white people, you know? So it was, like, just a different energy, and I had to grow as an artist and learn how to cultivate and share. But ultimately, um, I use it as an opportunity to really... A lot of artists feel entitled to support. You know, I remember we did the first few shows, and I was like, ah, this ain't it because I felt entitled to people supporting me. I felt like they had to cheer for me instead of me going out there and introducing myself and showing the same I would do every person. I don't really look at the crowd as 5,000 anymore. I look at it as, as an individual. And I come out there and I greet and I say who I am and I share my life and what I'm going through and what I'm experiencing and then I share my art and I'm able to cultivate a grander connection than just going out there and rapping. Man. Come on, clap it up for that. <laughs> so, so far we've talked about vision. This is where you are. This is where you want to go. And then we begin to talk about the character of the visuals. First with Mr. Fab, first characteristic squint that I pointed out was power, you know? Because when you got people that can walk into a room and change the room, you know, it's like people leave my backyard. I see grown men, 50 and 60. I be watching from my window sometimes on show days if people coming in and you see grown men, 50, 60, grown women, 60, 50, and they coming in cheesing, jumping, skipping. And it's like, we don't even get to witness black men in that zone throughout the world. But coming into that yard, like they've been to the yard, you know, coming into that yard, it just feel like you a kid again. And that's what Good Company is about, is just being able to be the most authentic version of yourself. You know, I don't like 
you know, when I when I first started, I got a lot of slack for not getting dressed and wearing crops and not wearing all this, but it's like, I like to do what comes with ease to me. I never want to go into the world with an image that I got to uphold. And then you catch me one day and I'm not who you thought I was because I, was, I had an image, you feel me? So it's just, it's just about being authentically yourself as much as you can and being okay with that. Standing in the power of that. Like I used to, I used to feel a way that I didn't have a harsh story. You know, it's like, I ain't, 50 Cent got shot nine times. It's like, nigga, I ain't got that. All I got is me <laughs> and the life I live, you feel me? And I had to make that cool. I had to make that worthy of someone being like, man, that's dope too. You feel me? And sometimes when you coming up, if you don't have all the extra, it's like, you lame. You don't, you don't have, but it's like, we made that shit. I made it tight. You feel me? It's cool to be yourself. I, I, I love it because everything Fab, that you said tonight, coherent brand. Everything that you said, Russell, coherent brand. You said you talked about wanting to feel the heart of the people. That's good company, right? You said you went to the coin store and dumped the coins in. That's good yeah. company, right? <laughs> you said get that bag. That's a part of your vision. That's all coherent with your brand. And so that's what we want to build tonight, right? We're going to take about a minute. We're going to have two day ex two, three, four. I'm out of here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>